volume milling user interface is modernized. It is in the roughing group along with roughing. Click on mill, roughing, volume rough to see the new volume milling user interface and experience that streamlined workflow. In this example, you can just select the reference, the recent mill window, and copy the parameters of an existing NC sequence to have a toolpath to start working on. To get visual feedback while defining the toolpath, preview the toolpath as you are defining it by clicking on the dynamic toolpath preview icon. From tool motions, you can access a set of commands to accurately define the desired entry and exit or to add a CL command. To edit the cut itself, click on tool motions, select the cut, then edit to open the volume milling cut dialog box. And perform actions such as changing the order of the machining of the re different regions. In general, when you create a volume milling toolpath, the geometry is scanned, regions are identified, tool trajectories are defined, and approach and exit are applied. In the volume milling cut dialog box, click on regions, show regions, and then click a region number to see the selected region highlighted in the graphics window. Click the up and down arrows to change the cutting order of the regions. Click preview CL data to see the CL data of the entire toolpath. Click a line in the CL data and the corresponding position of the tool is shown highlighted in the graphics window. 